Hi, this is Rebecca, and today I'm going to teach you how to Photoshop a transparent background. And what we're going to be doing is actually putting a mask over this background, and using the gradient tool, uh, we're going to make the water part uh, transparent, and then we're going to add some color to it. So um, this is what we're going to do. Uh, go ahead and open your image, whatever image you want to use, and then um, write down what the image size is because we're going to make another layer with the same size. So just go to image, image size, and then write down these stats so that you can make a new image. Go file new, then put the stats in there, but you're going to make sure that the background contents say transparent. And I'm using Photoshop CS3 but this can be done in any Photoshop version. So here's our new layer or new uh, image. So in this original image, we're just going to drag this one over to our new image and we're going to line it up. Okay, we can get rid of the first one. <clears throat> Okay, so over here in the layers, we now have layer two or layer one and layer two. Um, layer two is selected, so go ahead down here and we're going to add a layer mask. Okay, and you're selected over here on the layer mask. So then we're going to go over here to the gradient tool and we're going to select the gradient tool. And if you don't see the gradient tool in your toolbar, um, you just go through some of these tools and just click on it and um, keep it clicked and other tools will appear. <clears throat> so if you don't see it, it should be under the paint bucket tool. So just select your gradient tool, then come uh, all the way up to the top and select this and make sure it's on the very first option. It says foreground to background. So then we're going to come over to our image and we're just going to draw a line right here where the water's at. Boom. There you go. Now it's transparent. And I would like to um, make that a different color. So I'm going to select my background layer where it's a transparent layer number one. And I'm going to select a color. So I think I'm going to choose this um, greenish blue color. Then come over here to your paint bucket and boom. Now you've got like a bluish green water. Uh, if you want to change the color, let's see. Let's do a different color just to show some variety. Let's do red or a pinkish red. There you go. Now you've got like a pink color too. Um, the water. You could also do the sky and make it look like a pink colored sky. That'd be kind of cool. But um, you can get as creative as you want, but that's how you do it. I went to school for four years for graphic design and art. Most people don't have that much time or money to dedicate to learning Photoshop. I've come across this tutorial and it's only $27. It's very affordable and it's going to teach you some in-depth training that you really want to learn and you're going to be able to wow people with the stuff that you learn in here. Um, let's go through a couple of them. I really like this one. It teaches you how uh, to do the lighting effect and smoke effect. It will also give you, uh, see this is the before image and the after image. It also gives you files and it goes through um, all different kinds of video tutorials. See video part two, three, four. Uh, let's go through one more. This one's really cool. This is the before and the after photo. And they give you all the, uh, anything that you need, a plug-in or a, a image or a graphic, whatever you need, they give it to you. And let's check out one more of these. Let's see, there was one with a little girl that I really liked. This one. If you're into photography, you can take really good photography, but you want to turn it into more of a fairy tale look or a dream look, 
Uh, this is a great tutorial to go through. But uh, this is some great training. It's very affordable. I, I think I said it was something like $27. Um, just click on the link that's uh, in the video or the link down in my description and it'll take you right to the page and it, there'll be more information on it. Um, and you can check it out. So go ahead and click on that link.